Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel for this week's plan with me. I'm trying to make the videos look a little bit brighter, so sorry if it looks weirdly washed out in places. I'm sure it will be a learning curve, but in the meantime, I am going to be using one sticker book this week. It wasn't my intention, but I ended up being able to pull together a spread from just the old school happy planner sticker book that had sort of everyday essentials or something like that but it was before they named everything it was one of the original ones sorry my cat jumped in there for a second he's been really into joining me in these plan with me's lately so for today i put that the, my main goal was goal setting because it's getting to be the new year i didn't intend for this to be the last spread that i did in this clever fox planner there are two more weeks of spreads available in the back but because it's the new year it just seemed like the perfect time to switch over to a new planner so I decided to go ahead and do that because I was so excited to use my next one, which is also going to be a Clever Fox planner. I'm also going to pair it with a day designer daily planner, and I might occasionally do plan with me's in that for you guys, but that is going to be more my day-to-day -day one, whereas the weekly Clever Fox planner that I got, which I will do an unboxing of soon and a setup, it's going to be a long video because there's a lot to set up, but... I'm excited for that. It is the weekly though. So I'm just going to do my overview and my to-do list for the week and do a lot of my goal planning in there. Then I have some last minute Christmas errands to run. And then I write down in the top right, my menu for the week and just get all of that good productive stuff out of the way before moving on to Monday. On Monday, my main goal is to get some writing done. I feel like I've been a little behind in that category but I made some good progress. It's actually after Christmas now, so this week is long gone, but I made some good progress on the book that day, and I also needed to catch up on some YouTube stuff, recording a couple videos and doing voiceovers and the like. I also had a secret shop job on Monday and Tuesday this week that I tried to write fancy S's and they just ended up looking crazy, but... First, I layered what was a step sticker with the do all the things to label the YouTube and then a reminder script and a later yellow sticker. I was amazed by how easily I was able to incorporate my color coding with what was left over in this book. It's the sticker book that I've owned the longest and has the fewest stickers left in it. And we're getting, we're getting down to the end. I was very surprised that I was able to do a full spread from that book. So I use the now sticker. The now and later stickers always don't really work for me because I don't plan in the moment. I feel like I'm either planning all for later or planning for now. So having a now and a later sticker, like everything's later, I'm planning it. So it doesn't really work with my mind, but sometimes I just put it for things that are later in the day. So my plan was to do the work writing in the afternoon. I put a little drink cup and the different steps. I realized that these steps took up more space in the hourly than I would be actually working, but I just outlined where the nannying hour started. I tried to use a scale, an orange scale sticker, but it ended up looking a little crazy with the M only in the sticker. I also put a munchkin from Once More With Love with a little umbrella to have it be a Mary Poppins for that day. And later that day, we wanted to record an episode of the podcast. I had forgotten that we were going to be doing that, so added it on last minute before moving on to Tuesday. On Tuesday, my main goal was to edit and upload some of the podcast episodes that I had been getting a little behind on. We're still, every Saturday we intend to record, we don't always do it, that's why we backlogged a bunch because I knew there would be bumps in the road like this where things just come up or we're both struggling with balancing life and the holidays and all of that, so we're, we're glad we have some room to breathe with that. And then I use another scale with this cute little munchkin uploading sticker to mark down my edit and upload session for 
the podcast. On the adventure full box, I put down a mini morning routine of reading for five minutes, doing yoga for 20 minutes, cleaning the litter box, cleaning the apartment, and putting on makeup. I'm starting to get the urge to put on makeup more, which is nice. I always want to look put together, but I rarely feel like doing that in the morning, so I'm glad it's starting to sink in a little more. So that afternoon, I wanted to do some transcription work, which is what I put in the steps box. These are, of course, supposed to be marking the number of steps you take during the day from the fitness book, but I found there's no reason you can't use them as like steps to a goal or steps throughout your day of first I want to do this, then I want to do this. It doesn't have to be a number of steps that you took during the day. It can be a less literal translation. And that afternoon, evening, I wanted to put down this orange half box, which actually ended up working perfectly. It says what's for dinner, and instead of covering that up, I just jotted down what I was bringing with me because I've started making dinners for the kids when I batch cook and bringing them along. On Wednesday, I had two nannying jobs. During the day, I put this cute little breakfast date sticker. I worked at 8.25 to 3.30, and in the evening, the usual 4.15 to 8.15 on this Let's Go sticker that is also orange. Again, with my color coding, the purple is for my podcast, pink is for YouTube, and orange is for nannying. So that is all perfect. And blue slash green are sort of the catch-all for either household or my business, which that overlaps a lot because my business is with my boyfriend that I live with. So I wanted to do my morning routine, so I put this little drink sticker and but first coffee and then moved on to Thursday. So Thursday, I had a short nannying day, 12 to 2.30, with a little happy munchkin covering up the scale, part of the scale. And then I went and found my Star Wars sticker book because it was Star Wars night. So I put this little quote box that said, today was a good day and put down an R2 and C3PO for the movie night. So those are, I think, the only stickers that weren't from the Happy Planner sticker book that I used in this spread, but they're so perfect for going to go see Star Wars. And then I used this little, I don't know, a sort of floral looking bullet point to mark down the transcription I wanted to do, and I put down a few morning routine tasks like yoga, answering YouTube comments, and writing for 20 minutes. And then I used this arrow ready for the day. My goal that day was just to earn some money. That was it. Because while some days I am able to focus more on YouTube or writing or whatever, some days I really just got to get some money made so I can pay my bills. So that's what that day was. Moving on to Friday, I nannied in the evening, and this is an example of when I would use a later sticker because I have a nannying job earlier in the day and I have one later in the day. So this is when I remembered that I had a secret shop to do, so I added that on and just sort of snuck it in the best I could. Those secret shops ended up being really great. I can't really give any details, but it was a really fun opportunity to do something I probably would have done anyway and make a little money. So on Friday, I wanted to pick up groceries after I worked, and in between jobs, I wanted to have a writing session. I don't remember whether or not the writing session happened. I think for some reason I ended up staying late or something, so that always happens when I try to schedule something for the in-between time. On Saturday, I also had a nannying day, so I used the step sticker and labeled this happy day label on top of it, and I think that ended up looking really cute. And then in the morning, I wanted me time. Every Saturday, I try to make myself take a self-care hour, which I did a video about that, and it's just really 
deep cleaning myself, like whitening strips, painting my nails, cleaning my nails off if they already have paint on them, face mask, hair mask, all of it. Just get pamper myself and make sure that I'm all ready for another week. And then I had labeled that we were going to record another episode of the podcast, but then I realized later on that the podcast had been rescheduled because Lex always records another one on Sunday and they had rescheduled theirs for Saturday because of a guest they were having on. And so we pushed ours to Sunday and I wanted to begin my batch cook that evening, but I also ended up instead having sushi with friends, but that didn't make it into the spread. So you'll see I end up having to move that YouTube sticker on Sunday just to earlier in the day. I wanted to do my new planner setup, a plan with me, budget with me, and finish my Stitch Fix unboxing. But I was very, very much in the Christmas-itis phase at this point, so not very much of that got done. But I had the best intentions. And that evening we also had a meeting with somebody we were thinking about working with on a production, so... It was great to go and just, it ended up just being a coffee. She was going to come over, but then we realized she's allergic to cats, and we have two of those that shed a lot, so we made it work. So that is it for this week's plan with me. I think it turned out really cute, and I'm going to do a quick flip through of the sticker book to show you how little I have left in it. Most of the pages have already just been ripped out. I've only left the ones in that still have stickers, and... I just don't do lots of girls' nights. Those, those are the most. That is it for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.